Hey y'all, um, I just wanted to come on here and just really talk to you guys about some of the things that I've been doing to focus on my health in the middle of this pandemic. Um, there's so many articles out there that want to scare you and um, make you panic. I'm one of those people, like um, I had to stop following certain pages and certain people because um, I was falling for the scare tactics and but the only th the, the good thing about the scare tactics is that it, it makes you think about how to protect yourself even more from um, what, you're, what you're essentially afraid of. So um, I did some research on some things that I feel specifically will help if I were to get sick. So what I found when I Googled um, how to improve your lung health is um, there are certain things that you can do to strengthen your lungs. Like um, if you smoke cigarettes or something, uh, vaping, all of that stuff, um, I would ease off of that. Um, it says eat, eat foods rich in antioxidants, um, exercise more frequently, which can help your lungs function properly and improve your indoor air quality. Um, something I did to improve the indoor air quality is I purchased a humidifier and um, I've been running it um, pretty often so that, you know, my body stays hydrated. I've um, increased my water intake. Um, I, I wasn't really known for drinking that much water, but since this has happened, I tell myself I really need to focus on keeping myself healthy. And so staying hydrated is so important. And it's kind of um, what I've been seeing throughout my research on just how to make sure your body is healthy. And if you were to catch this infection, could even fight it Um and so I've also done breathing exercises. So one breathing exercise that I've done a lot and I've already started to feel a difference is I've, I breathe in for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then breathe out in like a for eight seconds. And I do it over and over again. And so I've already started seeing a difference. The other breathing exercises that I've done really just involve like simple breathing and deep breathing. Um, so I just breathe in um, as long as I can and push it out as long as I can. I just feel like those are ways to improve your lung function. Um, I also, when I did my search, um, came across a list of things that 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 someone put on how to strengthen your lungs, um, including different breathing techniques like simple deep breathing, counting your breaths, um, and then watching your posture. So I've been trying to um, sit more upright lately. Um, another thing is staying hydrated, laughing. Laughing is important, and I think we've done a really good job with laughing, staying active, and joining a brief. Um, and then in addition to all those other things, um, that I've been doing, I've also added, um, a few more. I mean, some of these I was already doing, but I just wanted to note them for, for if you want to check them out to see if maybe they make you feel better or they work for you. Um, but I've been taking ginger, um, hibiscus, like I have a hibiscus tea, that I really enjoy drinking with some honey. It's amazing. Um, also echinacea, vitamin D and C, and elderberry. Those are the things that I'm doing right now. I've been told that I should add sea moss to um, my regimen, but I haven't done enough research on it to know yet. But these are just things that I'm putting in place so that my body is as strong as it should be. And the good thing about this is that it'll be something that I can continue on for a daily routine. Um, I'm not sure if people are really talking about the mental health aspect of this pandemic. I've never been through a pandemic before, so this is pretty new for me. But I think um, staying away from certain 
um, news stories and social media, I think, can become um, very helpful because uh, they can be overwhelming. If you're constantly looking up um, stories, I mean, just think about it, hearing about mass death and stuff like that. that. That's not something that generally nourishes our mental health, um, and especially when you don't know how something is going to affect you. So mental health is very important. And um, here are some things that I do to keep my mental health in check. Um, I take some time to just look up the recovery rate and um, and, and kind of leave it at that. Um, I look for fun stuff, play games. Um, I found some shows that I like to watch on Netflix and, and um, Disney Plus. <laughs> you know, I, I find things that I like to do cleaning up. Is something that is very helpful for me and therapeutic. Just um, sitting on the balcony or the porch and um, just breathing is sometimes very calming. Uh, music is something that I take pretty seriously when it comes to calming down or getting myself in to a, a healthier uh, thought space. And then lastly, I just check in on my friends and my family, and my loved ones, um, and see how they're doing and uh, FaceTiming them and and just chopping it up with them, seeing um, how well everybody is holding up. It, it's, it's helpful for me. Um, and so I said all that to say, in essence, take care of your mental health. Um, in addition to your quarantine, stay hydrated, um, get a humidifier, do breathing techniques, laugh, stay active, take your vitamins. Um, these are things that I'm doing. Now, you don't have to do anything that I'm doing. And I must say that this is not at all advice. This is, this is nothing. This, these are just suggestions and and things that I do to make myself feel more comfortable. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. I want all of you guys to stay healthy, um, continue being creative because I've seen some, some really, really creative stuff now and it's amazing. And so uh, keep it up and um, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. It's Persephone.